So hello there, uh, new year and a new effect on the RK008. We introduced the MIDI effects a um, few uh, firmwares ago and uh, we had the arpeggiator, and chord generator, uh, stuff like that, or the polymux. And now we added the MIDI delay, which is a uh, yeah kind of an old school effect we already knew from the Atari Cubase back then. And uh, it had some creative use, so um, we were adamant to make it into the RK8. Mm, the media effects in a whole are uh, selectable via the system menu. You go to Alt 9, go a few times to the right. When you see media effects, you go into it with Rec. And here you can see three slots. I've set the first one to Delay. And with the digits, you can set another effect like Pediator, Muxer, Chord. And here are the Velocity to Controller. That's a modifier. I'll get into it later. You also have a Key to Controller, which you double click and you get the other. A variant of this effect and on five is the delay um, so I can select the delay here but I don't hear it yet because I need to route the MIDI output from this track through the delays and I do that in the Alt 7 the output menu uh, I can set a MIDI channel that's not necessary uh, and here I can set the port I can choose like send it out to hardware 1 hardware 2 or the RK6 via USB or BLE, and on 7, 8, and 9 are the effects buses. So here's the delay, here's the second effects, not loaded yet, and a third also not loaded. So um, if I use a clear effect, you hear the same, but if I check the delay, you can already hear it in effect. Um, you can change all the media effects settings in the system menu, but there's a shortcut to access this directly from the output menu. You just select the effect and then press rec to go into it and now you can set the effect parameters like i've uh, it starts with the time like an eighth note you can set it to 16 with the digit or larger i can also double tap it like duplets and i can go to the right for more uh, details on the effect like this is the velocity decay on every note repeat. It's It sounds like an audio delay, but it's actually a real MIDI note sent again to the device. So, uh, and every note can have a uh, velocity decay and it can have a note increment. And the veloci velocity decay can also be set to zero. So now it will do a true note repeat. But I set it to a little... here well it repeats three times I can also set it to two or one and well the retrick that's something sometimes note might not sound the way you want to because it cuts off the synth engine because of there's an extra MIDI node maybe there's not enough polyphony or whatever and with retrick retrick you can force the first notes to go through so it sounds a bit more natural it's like a tweak we didn't really know we needed but to have a good MIDI delay there's a bit of trickery going on and we just call it retrick okay I'll keep this on for now because most of the time this just sounds best well then you have the key increment so on every note delay you can also add an increment to the note like one or five and if I choose to have more node decays or node delays, like through two, it will repeat it with the increment on every delayed node. I can record something. Uh, well, and in real time, I can change this. But I kind of like this duplet eight delay. And what I can also do is I can um, chain effects to each other. So I now have the delay, but I would also like to have like a uh, velocity change on the delayed note. 
uh, well I had it already and I would like to change the filter on this HH1 uh, depending on the velocity so I go to the full menu of the media effects which is on Alt 9 I see here the delay and here I see the FX2 and I'll load that with the velocity to control I can go into it I have some parameters to tweak the velocity uh, the values which come out after the velocity values I can set a base value like a return value of the controller and this is the controller number 74 which is the filter and what I do now is I go back to FX1 and I don't choose FX1 to send out to all hardware outputs but I choose it to route through FX2 so you hear the filter already working and I don't hear any notes because I can choose to through the notes yes or no it's somewhere right here in this effect like original through this means only send out the effects uh, triggered by velocity but I can also add the notes to the effect so now effectively I've made a velocity modifier on a delay and if the effect is too uh, intense I can just uh, scale it back by pressing alt deck like this uh, there's also a uh, like a gated mode so now only note on will be used for the effect but I can also choose to uh, cut it back to zero on note off so now really the um, length of the note has an effect see it cuts down the filter after the uh, note off uh, let's see I can remove that again well I could go on and also set another output to route it to FX3 where I would put a, a arpeggiator on it or whatever but um, yeah this is all the extra stuff you can do with uh, MIDI effects I can set it back to out all without effects this is how it normally sounds okay um, well nice I guess and um, I hope you find it useful and uh, maybe get some more explorations on your music with this effect.